Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline here in the United States of America. Today I wanted to start off my video with a little promotion. So I got this cooler bag about three months ago, give or take, and I have been using it consistently because it is very, very convenient and amazing in my travels and my life. So let me show you. This is the Life Wit Bag. You've definitely seen it on my channel before. As you can see, it's a pretty big bag. It is about 10 inches in width, 15 inches in length, and then another 10 inches in height. So it is a big bag, as you can see, comparing it to my face, my body, and just, you can tell it's big. At first I thought it was a little bit too big, but I have been able to stop bringing my tote bag with me and just bringing this because I use it as a purse and a lunch bag. So this is made for a cooler bag, but you can definitely put whatever you want in the top and in the front pocket and even in this cute little side pocket here. So in the front pocket, I emptied it out so you can see how spacious it is. I usually keep like my tablet, my wallet, my passport case, a bunch of stuff that I would put in my purse, my makeup bag, my vitamins, band-aids, Advil, whatever it is that I would put in my purse, I put it up here. And then in this pocket right here, I leave this safe for utensils and some salt packages, pepper, hot sauce, you know I love hot sauce, mustard, and just kind of like sauces in packaged wear that I just use for my food. It's just very convenient because you just need to take one bag with you. I really like the little side pocket here because I can keep anything quickly that I need to grab. I'll leave this in the airplane and I'll put my tablet right here and I can just grab it. It's easily accessible. Or I'll just put some more like little sauces and stuff on the side as well. So very big, nice compartments. It also has this water bottle holder or whatever holder you want on the side right here, which is nice. And it fits perfectly on my J-hook whenever I'm carrying it. So that's why I don't have to bring a tote bag with me anymore. So instead of having three bags, I have just been bringing this and my rollerboard because I cannot put my clothes in here. So I have to bring my suitcase. And of course on the inside, that's how big the inside is. I just carry all of my food in here. So if I wanna bring glass containers, Tupperware, silicone bags, everything fits in here, very spacious. It's extremely easy to clean. I've already used it uh, plenty of times and it's very easy to clean. Even smells good, smells great. And it's versatile. Another thing I love about it is that it's super light. Like you can see how light it is. A lot of bags that are cooler bags for flight attendants are kind of heavy and carrying our suitcase with so many different things inside of it and then a lunchbox on top that's heavy is just no bueno for me. I need something that's light because I get tired of carrying around heavy things. I've been happy to just bring two bags versus three. I love how it's like a purse and a lunchbox and a whatever else you want it to be, box, purse that goes on my suitcase, on my J-hook, and I can just stroll around the airport with it, feeling happy because it's not super heavy. So let me know if you guys get this bag. I will definitely link it down below in the description. So please leave me a comment if you have it or if you have heard about it because they are definitely really good. Now let's get into what I put into the bag and then we'll get on to the rest of the video. Everyone. So, like I said, this is a LifeWit portable soft cooler bag. It's a large capacity, it holds 27 to 48 cans, leak-proof lining, longer insulated time, versatile, and overall a great bag. So, as you can see, I have my silicone bags in here. I have a glass container with vegetables and another glass container with hummus in there. And then you can see at the top, which is what I said I use as a purse, I have all of my purse belongings. Don't judge me. I know I'm not like the most organized person on this planet, but here we go. Here is my tablet and everything I need with my tablet. I have my little wallet there, my passport holder, some chargers, some melatonin, um, my converter chargers because that's necessary, car keys, and pretty much just every necessity that I would put in my purse. And of course, my makeup bag. Can't forget that. And yeah, it's just really big, very convenient, and fits everything. I love it. 
All right, so for my actual suitcase, let me take you through what I brought. So in the mesh compartment, I pretty much just keep my toiletry bag in there, a belt that I just kind of like to wear with everything, a hairbrush, some bikinis, and I also have a bathing suit in there because you never know when you want to wear a two-piece or when you want to wear a one-piece, so... And then, of course, socks and underwear. Now, in this part, which is the bigger part, all I really have is... Pajamas, about two different going out shirts, some pants to go out in, two different workout pants, some workout tops, sports bra, shoes to work out in, and going out shoes. All right, so you guys just saw what I'm bringing on this two-day trip, how I packed my suitcase, but let's go. I picked up a two-day trip. It is my days off. I am on reserve this month, so that means that these are just all extra. So I picked up an easy trip, and I will talk more about the trip in my car and in the airplane. So let's go get to flying. <laughs> All right, everyone, I am currently at the airport and I am rushing because honestly, the highways here in Miami are very confusing to me. All right, everybody, so this plane actually came in from Montego Bay, Jamaica, and it was actually late. So I thought I was running really late, but I actually was fine and i was able to make it on time so we're good to go and i am position number two going to tampa so this is a two day and i'm just going one leg to tampa and i'm working in the back but there actually is not a service on this flight because it's so short miami to tampa it's like blocked at an hour so it's flying time is way less than that so basically i will just set everything up in the back and then if somebody needs anything on request that's how we do service so yeah, it's a really easy flight. And that's why I picked it up because I was like, this is super easy. I'm off and I feel like I'm off. So here we go. Also so far, crew is super nice and on a 737. And that's all for right now. I should see you in Tampa. All right, everyone. This is David. He's awesome. And we just got to Tampa and it was just the hardest flight of our lives. It was the worst day. Literally ever. the hardest flight. We had no service, one leg. We're done. Like the worst day ever. <laughs> Alright everybody, I am officially in Tampa. Our layover today is actually super short. It is only 12 hours and 30 minutes. We unfortunately were delayed on the flight because of the captain and the fo hadn't arrived yet because they had something going on with their with their sequence as well so then we were a little late but it's all good it is about 6 p.m here so our pickup tomorrow morning is at 5 55 in the morning so this layover is short but i was not planning on doing anything but of course i cannot say no and david is super cool he's a flight attendant i just showed and he was like we should just like go out for a drink or something and i was like uh, absolutely <laughs> so i'm gonna meet up with him for just a little bit i also already put all of my food that needed to be refrigerated in the refrigerator so i'm good All right, everyone, I am just getting back to my hotel now. It is about 9 p.m. David and I went to a Mexican restaurant. It was super cute. We had some chips and salsa and some drinks, and then we just kind of called it a night. Gonna take a shower and go to bed now. I definitely meal prepped a little bit too much for this trip because I didn't take into consideration that we were gonna like go out for a drink and stuff, but it is what it is. I'm on reserve for three days straight when I get back, so at least I will have food ready to go for my reserve block. So that's always a plus that is like thinking ahead Jess. So future Jess will be thankful for past Jess for having meal prepped when I did because then I have future Jess won't have to do that. So always thinking ahead. Anyway, I am just going to take a shower and go to sleep. So I will see you guys in the morning at 5.55 when I have to wake up and be ready. All right, good night. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy 
Friday, it is 5.50 a.m. So I've got to go downstairs for my flight. We are going to Chicago today. And then I just dead head back to Miami. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, everyone. So on our way to Chicago, I am position number two. So I'm looking in the back. I'm going to go set up the galley right now. Just wanted to say really quickly that full service is back on the airplanes. So first class has a full service. We have nuts, beverages, everything, pre-departures, everything, meals, hot meals, hot towels. In the back, it's almost everything, but alcohol actually starts April 18th. It's currently April 15th. So we'll see what happens with alcohol sales. And yeah, masks actually are not, are still mandatory until May 3rd, but we'll see what happens with that. And yeah, all right, let's go to Chicago. All right, everyone, I am currently in Chicago, just waiting for my deadhead back to Miami. And yeah, this was a really easy trip. So I'm deadheading, meaning that I'm not actually working the flight but I am considered working crew. So I will be on the flight as a passenger, but technically I'm still working crew. That's what deadheading is. So this is a very easy trip and it's my days off. So I was like, this is the best trip to pick up when you're technically supposed to not be working because I'm on call this month, but it's okay. It's all good. I didn't have anything else better to do. Anyway. All right, everyone just made it out of my deadhead rushed off the plane, ran to my car, and I am ready to go home now. So that was a quick and easy two day, very simple. I picked up on my days off because I did not work very much last month. So I figured I would make up for it this month. And since I am on reserve this month, I get paid 75 hours minimum for the whole month, no matter how much I work. And everything that I pick up on top of that when I'm off is extra. So as of right now, I'm technically getting paid 75 plus 10 for this trip and then plus nine for a turn I picked up so that's 75 plus 19 so that's 94 hours so that's not bad and I still have time to pick up more if I want so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here thank you all so much for watching I appreciate all of you I appreciate all your support all your comments and all the positive vibes I feel like I get from this YouTube channel so thank you again please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one Beijing ciao ciao